Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna learn how to blur anything in your video. So if you wanna blur some faces for some reason, or number plates, for example, this is gonna be the way to do it. So we're just gonna jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you some examples. All right, so in this video, you can see that I've blurred out the number plate of this car here. So if I disable the Gaussian blur effect that we have here under the effects control panel, you can see this is the number plate. Now, for obvious reasons, especially you know in the UK, we wanted to blare out the number plate so that people can't actually tell uh, what it is. And I also do it again here. You can see that the number plate is also blared out. If I go frame by frame, you can also see it being blared out. All right, so let's go back to this frame here. And I'm gonna go and disable my Gaussian blur effect. And this is the effect that essentially we wanna use for this. So we're gonna to go to effects, we're gonna type, let's say blur, and we're gonna double click Gaussian blur, and then we're gonna to go to effect controls. So this is the new effect that we're gonna apply. I've got the clip selected down here, and all I'm gonna do is draw uh, a mask around the number plate. So I'm back at the first frame of this clip. I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see I'm at the first frame here. And you can also see that I've added a digital zoom or dolly without any ease out or ease in effects. So uh, let's go back here. I'm gonna minimize this. All right, so now we're back to the Gaussian, Gaussian blur effect. I'm gonna draw a mask around the number plate. Now we can use these um, shapes that they provide you with, or we can go to a free draw pen to create that mask. I'm just gonna go with the square for now, and I'm just gonna move it around the number plate and make it fit from these angles here. I think somewhere around here is, is pretty good. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my blurriness, usually quite high, so it doesn't show. As you hit the 50% mark, you can also drag the number from here to go even higher. So maybe somewhere around here I think is fine. But at the moment, this effect is quite sharp on the edges. So to do that, we're gonna do a mask expansion, just a little bit maybe. And then we're gonna add a feather around the edges. So maybe somewhere around here. Yeah, and then we're gonna expand a little bit more. Cool. And the next thing that we just simply have to do is track the selected mask forward. So it's gonna track this mask for every frame going forward. So all we have to do is track the selected mark forward and press this button here. And you can see that it's dragging and expanding the mask at the same time. I'm gonna let that run. And essentially somewhere around here is fine because you're not gonna see it beyond this clip because obviously I've got the other clip at the top. So I'm just gonna stop the effect here. So if we go back, we've completely blurred out the number plate. And that is pretty much how you blare out things in Premiere Pro, it's very simple thanks to the tracking tool. Sometimes the tracking may not be as perfect so you have to go frame by frame and move it around if you have to. But this has done a pretty, pretty decent job and I'm quite happy with that. The next thing is pretty much the same when it comes to this part here. I did exactly the same thing. You can see that this marker is also tracking and following the car all the way around. And I also added another mask for the back of the car. So let's just do another example where I blare out uh, a face. Um, let's say this one here. I'm gonna go to effects again. I'm gonna type blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm gonna go to my effect controls, and I'm gonna create a mask. 
let's say using this tool here, I'm just gonna make it smaller. Let's say for some reason you wanna blare out this face here. I'm just gonna make it a nice size around the face. Let's say somewhere around here, we're gonna increase the blurriness, completely blur it out. And then we're gonna add an expansion and add a feather to the mask. And then again, we're gonna track the clip frame by frame. And you can see it's doing a pretty good job here. All right, that's done. Let's track let's track the face pretty pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. I again do it another time where the bikers go around the model, which I used a couple of times, so I essentially didn't want to uh, see her face again. So I blurred her out. Uh, where is it? Somewhere around here. Yeah, here. You can see that I've blare out the face here again. And again, if I play this, you can see that the face is blurred out. So again, I'm gonna disable this. You can see the model here. But I don't want you to see her. So I'm gonna go to, again, effects. Gaussian blur, double click on that, and then we're gonna create a little mask around her face. Maybe somewhere around here, that's pretty good. And then we're gonna add a blur effect, so blurriness. You don't need much for this and expand the mask a little bit, add a little feather. And then we're just gonna track. You can see that it's doing a pretty, pretty good job. But over there, it's missed the mark and it's just going to the side. So I'm gonna go back frame by frame and move that mask back to her okay so track the frame backwards and again and again and again and again This is where we start to lose her. So I'm gonna come back here and fix these. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. We've just done it again. And I'm quite happy with that. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for using the blur effect. In the next video, we're gonna learn how to green screen.